Hello, and welcome to this WorldDocs GX4 training session. Today we are going to discuss the topic of versioning. The first thing to discuss with versioning is to get an understanding of how versioning works. To better illustrate this, I'm going to first talk to you about how documents are saved in a Windows file structure. So for example, I'm going to start off and I have a particular document, let's say this one right here, which is my test brown document. What I am not able to do is I cannot save a second version of this particular document. If I come over here into, my, into the system and let's say that I start with a brand new document that exists that, that I'm creating, and I go to initiate a save here. Again, my document you'll see here is completely blank. But I come in here and I do a file save as and I point my document to the same location that my test uh, document currently, um, where my test document is currently located. And I select that document name and I hit save. I'm presented with this pop-up from Microsoft Word. So what you'll see is that my main options are really, there's really twofold. Um, one, I can basically choose to replace the existing file, which would basically be updating the existing file, or I have the ability to save it with a different name. So what that means is that I can come over here, and again, once I hit my save, save with a different name, um, and come over and just add something. And what most law firms do is they'll add some sort of additional reference and maybe it's a number two or something that distinguishes it creating a unique document. Now once I've done that, the system will let me save this document. So the, the challenge with that is that if we are saving a bunch of documents into our system and we have a bunch of changes from our original to our current version, you'll see that we might wind up with a bunch of documents with our name. Um, it could exist numerous times. So it's very hard to see the link or the connection to them. And it's because of this type situation that versions sort of exist. They exist to allow us to link different documents together and really capture the creation to the completion of a particular document. So what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to work within World Docs and basically show you how we can save a document and create versions of that document. So you'll see that I currently have World Docs open. And I'm gonna come over here for our example, we're going to be using our Acme Manufacturing and our General Manner, uh, sorry, General Matter, in which we're going to be working with our particular files. And I'm gonna sort my documents here by my modified date. And now I'm gonna open up Microsoft Word and I'm going to go ahead and um, start to work with our test document that we're going, to, we're going to be using. So for this example, I'm using one of my test files from my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that, that test document from my desktop here. Here is my test document, which happens to be an expert witness list that we're going to be working with um, regarding uh, our versioning example. So you'll currently see that this document does not have a document ID. Therefore, World Docs is not aware that it currently exists. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select my save function. And the minute I hit save, Net Documents wants me to, of course, take take it through the profiling process. So again, we had discussed, we're gonna be searching that, we're gonna be using leveraging that Acme um, client and that general matter. So now that I've selected that, I now I'm going to select what type of a document this is. We're gonna say this is an agreement. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and um, basically uh, just go ahead and select our OK button, right? So I'm going to save this document. Now the document has a document ID number. Um, something to I want to point out is we're going to now walk through our save process once again, but in this, if for this example, I'm going to select the Save As button. And something I want to point out to you is that, again, 
what we're currently looking at is the existing document. There's only one. There's only one version, essentially, um, which is our document number 1045. And you'll see for this example, I did not add a comment. So if I did want to add a comment, I could add it right here. And I could basically say this is, you know, your firm can create up with a, create its own naming convention by which you can leverage comments to be useful information as part of your workflow. So for example, um, in my comment, I'm going to select that this is my draft for the ATT review. Um, and so this is a comment that I can basically now add in for this version. So I'm going to basically go ahead and uh, select replace existing file. Um, and in doing so, I now will have saved my update um, on this particular matter. So now that our document has been saved, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to save it as a new version. So again, we're going to come up here to our save as uh, function. And once I've selected save as, again, I have my information here. I can go ahead and again, leverage my comment. And so since this will be version two, you could say this is the ATT review of draft, which is ready. You can go, the attorney can go ahead and put in their comment and maybe even you put in, um, the, the attorney might put in their initials, but now they can hit save as version two. Um, and in doing so, we now have a version two of our document. Here's our original document number with the dash two. So if I wanted to go ahead and save a new version, I could go ahead and hit our save as button once again um, and come in here. So I can now come in here and since this is going to be our version three, I could say that this, I could say that final was filed with court, for example, for my comment, go ahead and select the save as version three. And I now have a version three with those particular comments. So again, it allows me to create documents that are all tied together and they're tied via our version and our version dash numbers, um, linking all of those documents together. So I don't have to have that list of separate document names essentially and try and figure out how they all link together. These are all documents are all now linked together because they are versions. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the file close and exit and go ahead and close out of Microsoft Word. I'm just going to come in here um, and basically hit my refresh button here on my um, client matter, the Acme and the general that we were currently in. And here is my uh, documents that I've been saving. Here is my three uh, versions that currently exist. Um, something I want to point out is you'll see that I have my comments um, column enabled, right? It currently is present here. So I can actually see the comments for my versions. If I want to see all the versions, I can select my list versions button that I added to my toolbar. And I actually can see all three versions that exist. And as I select each of those versions, I can see the comments that appear next to each of those particular comments. In addition to that, again, on this particular screen, if I wanted to, I could just come down to my comments and add in the comments for each of those versions. And you'll see that version one doesn't have a comment. So this is a good example. Let's just say that your user might have forgotten to add a comment that you're, you know, you have a, an, a convention by which you're using comments like I am in here to basically track our versions. Your user could just simply come in here, select edit metadata, and basically hit the enter key after the name of the document and just basically enter in our comment. whatever that comment might be. And go ahead and select update, and now we have a comment in for each of those versions. So this can be a really helpful tool um, sort of in the firm's arsenal as far as documentation is concerned, really tracking the creation um, you know, to the filing of a document, for example. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is close out of my version display and circle back to our home screen where we began. And at this point, I just want to thank you for joining us. This is what we had to show you on versions within WorldDocs today. Thank you and have a great day.